Hi, this is Terry. I've lost 180 pounds with a combination of keto, carnivore, and counting calories. I started my journey in August of 2019 and reached my goal in November of 2022. Now that I've reached my goal, I'm focusing on my health, both physical and mental. Thank you for watching. Hello, happy, happy 4th of July. <laughs> but today for you, it's Saturday. So hello. So this is one that I had put in the freezer and um, I, you know, I put a new paper towel on it after I, uh, after a day or so. And um, it seems like it's not quite as wet as, as it was, as the one was that I did not change the paper towel on the other day. So, um, I mean, it's still going to be a little damp, but it's going to be damp. You know what I mean? It's, it's eggs and, and a veggie. So, um, but right now I'm taking one lapping cow cheese wedge and, um, and we are going to do this. I've been thinking y'all, I, I don't, don't hold me to it. Okay. Don't hold me to the fire. You know, I like to think out loud and I'm considering, um, doing a couple of weeks of carnivore after the, after Missy's gone and things kind of settle down. I'm considering doing a couple of weeks of carnivore. It won't be clean carnivore because I'll still be going out to eat with my mom. And um, and so I'm not, you know, whenever we go out to eat, I'm not going to just, you know, I'm not going to have, have her pay $13 for just a hunk of meat. Um, I might talk her into eating at home. I don't know. We'll see. But this is a bega cake. It's one cup of, sh of really fine shaved rutabaga and three eggs. Anyway, um, so I'm considering that. Don't quote me on it. That's just what I'm thinking on in this moment. Since my sister's still in town, having those burgers have been so amazing. Vacation time. Here in town, and family time. She had surgery on, she had a rod put in her back when she was in 7th or 8th grade. And um, so, she has a lot of back pain. She wears a TENS unit 24-7. So, she's really awake and really good really active until about 12 eh, about one or two well she's really physically active and going until about noon and then about one or two she starts slowing down and needing to lay down and stretch her back out um so whenever she's in town it's go 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 but it seems like everything's like she's like every time She's like, okay, let's go do this. Let's meet at such and such at 10. It's 10 because that's sometimes when the store opens. And that's about how fast mom gets ready. Sorry, mom. Um, and also, it's um, it's just kind of a, you know, the, the starting point for us right now. But that's an hour away from my eating window. Not window, but just when I'm typically used to eating. I don't eat. I don't have like a window. I just kind of eat by the clock and I usually eat about 11 o'clock. So it's been really good. I just grab a bag of burgers, bring them with me and sometimes a chunks of rutabaga or pickle or whatever. It's been really nice to just grab it and go. So then while we're out shopping or whatever and we just pause and get back to the car she might be eating something and I and I was eating my burgers and or my rutabaga or whatever. So it was really, really super duper handy and I really enjoyed it. So that is going to be my go-to for vacations and family time. And, and I've always done that like when I go out of town or like for a work conference, like we're going to hope maybe go this fall to a three-day work conference. And again, I'll do the exact same thing I'm doing. But anyway, so today... Because she's still going to be in town through the weekend. 
And so I today I'm making more burgers because I'm down to my last package of two. So um, so anyway, so today, this morning, before the, they're talking about coming over here around 10. So I got laundry going, just washing my sheets. And um, and I've got two thing, two burgers, not two burgers, but you know, two pans of burgers going. And I need to make up my salads. So um, I just, yeah, so that's what I'm doing this morning. Kind of working on that kind of stuff. So anyway, like I said, I'm thinking about doing carnivore for a week. I mean, two to three weeks. Don't quote me on it. Um, when I start it, instead of my bega cakes, I'll, I'll be probably just doing egg cakes. So I'll try, I'll see how that works. Um, and then I will still have my protein shake at nighttime and I will still, let's see what all of the things I'll still be using my flavor enhancers. So let's start with breakfast. I'll be doing, I'll do my egg, egg cakes with the, with the lap and cow cheese wedge. And then I would do however many burgers to equal whatever amount of calories I'm doing. I do that at lunch. And then burgers at supper along with my protein. Um, can I give uh, a protein? Um, ah, a pro frozen protein. And I'll probably, and I probably won't do apples for lunch. So it's just kind of what I'm thinking about. And so I'm just kind of processing it all. And I'll, hang on. Anyway, so I'm still processing it all. I'll see how I, what I decide. You know me, by the time she's gone, I might just go full on keto. I have no idea what I'll do. But anyway, so it's just kind of some things I'm thinking about. So, all right, well, I got to go because my timer just went off and I need to move on to the next thing. So, bye. I'll see you at lunchtime. When I went to Walmart today, they had some New York strips um, on sale. They expired today. And they look good. Look at all that marbling in there. So I bought two, two packs. And so um, I'm treating myself. Happy 4th of July to Terry Bear. So anyway, so we're going to have this for lunch. I just wanted you to see it. So for lunch today, I've got my salad. And I'm finishing off. Mom had made this stuff for the family. Uh, oh, the family reunion. And it was like it had vegetables and some kind of dressing that she put over it. I think it was like vinegar, oil, and, sh and uh, uh, she used Splenda for me. We got peppers and onions. Some rutabaga. And some jicama in here. So, that's my salad. But with it, I got this nice fancy steak. I'm using that um, Rachel Ray skillet. It's fine, but man, I'm so used to using my cast iron skillet, and that thing gets so hot. So it took a lot longer to get done than my cast iron skillet. And then I cut up an apple. So that's my lunch today. Sister and mom, coming around three-ish. So in the meantime, I know you can't see. Hang on, I'll show you. That's the back side of the pattern. See, I'm using to cover the chairs. That's the front side. So I wanted to go long ways. I put in a couple staples and I need to, I, I pulled them back out. So now I'm gonna do it again. But, and when it's done, it'll look that, it'll look that way. So, all right, well, I'm gonna eat and work on that and I'll see you guys at supper. I got one chair done, but I ran out of staples, guys. My mom and sister are coming over, so look. 
It ain't perfect. There's a little bit of puckering in there, but I don't care. I think I've done a right nice job. I'm proud of it. I am proud of it. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? You'll be able to see it <clears throat> from the street. <clears throat> They're bringing over a plant stand to put right there. And um, we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to set this little plant on it. Look at them faces. Look at them faces. They're like, what are you doing, Mom? What are you doing, Mom? We want to be out there with you. Look at that. It's hard to see Sammy. They say we want to be out there with you, Mama. Nope. 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 But anyway, so I brought my book back out. And so that's how that chair looked. Hey, ha uh -uh, No, sir. No, sir. No, that was Sammy. Anyway, so I think that's going to look nicer. And I, my sister and mom are at a movie. I don't like movies. I don't like going to a movie. So uh, anyway, but they'll be here in a little bit. Hey there. It's 4th of July. And <clears throat> the dogs are not happy. They're hearing noises. So I got to get my radio back on. <laughs> uh, my mom and sister came by and... And um, I ran out of staple, this for my staple guns. We ran to Hobby Lobby and got some. We're having chicken salad. My version is chicken. Greek yogurt. Some no sugar added relish. And then some, some my little Richards. That's what I put in mine. Oh, and I could put some other, you know, onions and stuff in there. I put jicama in there before, but I don't have a lot of jicama, so I don't want to use it up. That. And some green beans. Okay, it's a whole can of green beans. And, um, <clears throat> and some onion, just different seasonings, but I like minced onions on my chicken, on my green beans. So we're try it. We got to do this other thing. All right. It's almost six o'clock. Let's go work on let's go work on this chair thing since we have time. Come on. So as a mild distraction, you are gonna hear white noise in the background. I'm hoping that maybe that'll help Callie. So I measured and found the center of this thing. And um uh, and so I I watched a couple of videos, and so uh, I what the video said is you put you find you put your put one in the back, then you kind of stretch it a little bit, not super tight. That comes later. Then you put one or chop, buddy. Watch out, vaccine. Yeah. I got everybody drugged up tonight. Then <clears throat> this one, so I I have the hole right there, so I don't want to. Um, I don't want to cover the hole, so I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to cut it along, wait a minute, and make sure there's going to be enough, yep, I'm going to cut it along here, I'll be right back, okay, so I found my spot, <clears throat> now I'm not pulling it super tight, but I'm kind of, want to find, then I'm doing one on the side here, <clears throat> and then, then she said to do one on this side, so now I'll have my um, I'll have have it all kind of measured and cut where it needs to be cut, at least for the main purpose. So now I'm looking at this one, and I need to cut right here. So I'll be right back. Okay. So now I don't want to cover the hole up. So in the video they said to take off the staples and remove the outer cover, and then to take off the backing. Why well, I couldn't do that. And um, you can see this is ugly backing or dirty backing. And, well, this, this chair has been through all over the place for me. I've taken this to Chicago, and I have this in my little house in Jackson. And so, anyway, so she said get these placed, and then, then you can kind of do the rest of it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep my eye on the hole right there. And I'm going to put a little staple. I'm going to put several staples along here. But I'm going to keep them on this side of the hole. And then I'll cut the material off so that way I can see the hole. 
because this is going to get covered. So I had covered this before, and uh, and I I so I just kept the old backing that was on the back of that. Again, dirty, 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 but it'll be all right. I ain't too worried about it. By the way, uh, I'm also going to add some ice cream to my. You know, I'll make some protein ice cream, but now is not the time. So, but she left the top one till the very end. So now I'm just going to kind of start working it around. Just kind of walk it. Walk it around and kind of push in the places that stick up a little bit. Because in the end there's going to be something over it that will cover all this up. I think that one's not supposed to be there. Got a little rambunctious. We're only gonna do one corner and then I'll then I'm gonna hang up with you guys and eat. So <clears throat> kind of walking it around and I like her method, this lady I watched. I'll try to link her in the video. Um because she said she cuts out, she cuts out, she called a smiley face, but like some of this excess material, she cuts it out. So like a half moon type thing. She called it a smiley face, but I think it looks like a half moon. And then she kind of pulled this in a little bit. Not too much. And then what she did I thought was interesting, she kind of pulled it up and made a bow tie out of it. So that way it's an even, she kind of tucks it. And this is the bow tie part. So you kind of, hang on, let me see. She makes it like this. See how it's like looks like a bow tie? And then you pull it, and that's what gives it an even look. But I need to go on and put one piece right here first, or one staple. You put a staple right here. And now, can you see how that looks like a little bow tie? It's like, zoop. that ain't pretty. It's not pretty bow tie. But, um, but then, okay. I'm going to do one more staple right here. Okay, so now we get the bow tie. And I'm going to stand over here because that's what I did before. Stand over here, and then I... Uh, I'm just going to do a couple so I can see how it's going to last. And then that is how you get your corner. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. I didn't do something right. See, that's why you don't do a whole bunch. That one don't look so good. Hang on. Okay. That was a little too much. I had a little too much extra there, so hang on. Okay, now let's try it again. So that's the other side. You're looking at that side. So let me take a look at that. And then I'm going to pull it tight. And then it'll just be like, just like this little pleated area. So hold up. Get that in there. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. So it will have a slightly pleated area. But that's, and so, but I gotta do go across from it to do it. It works better that way. I can pull better. I can pull it down tighter better that way. this a little better too. That's why I used up all 100 staples, you all.
And in the end, it all gets covered up anyway from the other piece that we use. So anyway, that's the back corner. So I'm going to get on and do this because I need to get a move on. But So that's how I did it. And uh, like I said, I'll link the lady in the, in, I'll link her, her video in this so that way you can see it. But all right, y'all. I don't know what flavor uh, frozen. Boy, look how gray my hair looks. That's all right. Um, I don't know what color, what flavor frozen ice cream I'm going to have, but I'll have it. I'll worry about it later. All right, bye. Okay, so we have our bottom half done. Now, we're going to do our top half. I'm going to kind of walk it. Walk it in a little bit, just a little. Just don't want any. I'm, I'm having to pull out some of these, like, as I get a little closer to the corner. And that's all right. I got a whole bunch of staples and I have a little thing I'm dropping my staples in and anyway so kind of giving it a little tug and and smooth oh, I got a little safety back there so give it a little tug so now I'm gonna come over here give it a little tug you know I make y'all nervous with the knife I wonder if I make y'all nervous with my staple gun. Ha ha ha. Alright. So now we're going to make sure it's good and tight. So I'm going to kind of do just kind of there we go. It's going to look good. That's both corners. Or the back corner. Alright. So now I'm satisfied with that. I'm going to pull this line this up with that uh, with that center line that I made. Put a couple staples so that way no matter what they'll stay in place and then there's my hole so i'm just cutting fabric so i don't cover up that hole all right so now i'm going to just kind of give some tugs hold it tight Put my staples in there. I'm about to get to that corner. And this is the corner where she kind of had it like that and then made her little thing and then pulled. After a while, but I need to kind of pull this in a little bit as well. So hang on, let me let me put a couple like a staple right here. And I need to do something with that little piece. It'll be alright. It's homemade. It's supposed to have little things on it, you know? It's supposed to have things in it. Alrighty. Now. Now we're gonna make our little make our little pleats here. Right here. And then let me practice. I pulled on it. And that's gonna look good. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and put one staple right here. Let's see. Where's my... I'm going to kind of line this side of the front out. I think this time I'll just... I did this earlier. I just put a staple on the other side of the, of the hole. I'll cut that out here. Good little tug. All right, we're getting close to that corner. I didn't cut my C out, but let me do that. So now we're going out. I don't have them all. I pull them out and half the staple stays sometimes. 
All right, so let's make our little pleat. Let's take a look first before we do anything. That's a pretty big pleat, but that's all right. I'll go in and put a couple more in there just to hold it in place. And I'll cut that little jobber off. All righty. Now I'm going to do this last one, and I'll be back. All right, and that's how we did it. Give you a close-up. There's our little pleat and our pleat. In the back, in the back, got a little wrinkle, but that's all right. That's just, that's just a wrinkle. So now I got to put the backing on. I'm just using this old backing that was on it whenever I did it last time. It ain't pretty. It's dirty, but I don't care. It's sitting outside, so it's going to get even more dirty. So what I did while ago earlier is I lined the holes up. I tried to. Maybe there wasn't a hole lined up. <clears throat> Alrighty. So what I did earlier is I kind of put a couple staples around the hole just to start with. Just so it didn't shift around. Now if any of you all are professional upholsters, I apologize for what you're witnessing. And you also see why I needed more staples than what I had. So I'm satisfied all the holes are lined up. So now I'm just going to staple around here, and then I'll be back when the bottom's done. Okay, so here's the naked chair, and here is the chair with the cushion. So I'm going to get this screwed on, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. Now look, it ain't perfect. It's dirty, but again, it's going outside, so it's going to get even more dirty. So, all right, I'll show you in a minute. There you go, guys. We did it. We did it. I'm going to go put it out there, and then I'll show you. So hang on just a second. 